Meteorites are a constant reminder of how fragile life is on planet Earth. At any given time, an undiscovered asteroid could crash into our planet, completely changing life as we know it. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three meteorites and the impacts on Earth. The Karankas Impact Event the Karankas impact event refers to the fall of the Karankas chondritic meteorite on the Earth's surface. The meteorite fell near the village of Karankas in Peru. The location of the fall was close to the Bolivian border and Lake Titicaca. The fall created a small crater impact on the clay soil and scorched Earth around its location. A local official named Marco Lemash observed that boiling water started coming out of the crater and particles of rock and cinders were found nearby, as fetid, noxious gases spewed from the crater. The surface impact was above 3,800 meters. The diameter of the meteorite is about 13.5 meters, with a depth of 4.5 meters. The crash occurred on September 15, 2007, around 11.40 in the local time of Peru. The meteorite was chondritic, meaning it is a stony meteorite that has not been modified by either melting or differentiation in nature. Following the crash, a group of geologists working with the Peruvian Geophysics Institute released a report. Immediately after the confirmation by the Peruvian astrophysicists on the 20th of September, X-ray laboratory analysis was carried out at the Mayo San Andres University Faculty of Geological Sciences in La Paz, Bolivia. They subsequently published a report of their findings on analysis of some of the small samples recovered from the material around the site of impact. The report said that some minerals were detected in the sample collected. Some of the minerals detected on analysis included iron, nickel, cobalt and traces of iridium. All of these elements detected were typical compositional elements of meteorites. Another vital detail that were published alongside the report was that the quantitative proportions of silicon, aluminium, potassium, calcium, magnesium and phosphorus discovered in those samples were incompatible with the composition of rocks that we have on the surface of our Earth. The meteorite was subsequently accepted as a standard meteorite after it was officially certified by the Meteoritical Society. The certification was carried out by a team of scientists working at the University of Arizona. It was described as an ordinary chondrite, an H. chondrite breccia, containing clasts of petrologic types 4 to 5. The formal classification is H. 4 to 5. It was also determined that the meteorite had experienced a considerable level of shock before ultimately hitting the Earth. More analysis was carried out by NASA, Japanese and British researchers in which they came up with their findings that were backed up by data. The findings were similar. Sometime after the impact, some of the villagers who approached the site of impact suddenly developed some forms of sickness that could not be explained from the normal observable facts initially. The villagers developed a wide array of symptoms as a result of the sickness which initially was unknown. About two days later after the impact, some Peruvian scientists confirmed to the Peruvian public and the world at large that there had been a meteorite crash. Their confirmation helped to silence widespread speculation that it may have been a geophysical rather than a celestial event. Consequently, even after Peruvian scientists seemed to have intervened, further information concerning the cause of the mysterious sickness that struck some of the members of the community was still unknown. But on further analysis and evaluation, it was discovered that the groundwater in the local area contained arsenic compounds, and the illness was subsequently believed to have been caused by arsenic poisoning incurred when residents of the area inhaled the vapour of the boiling arsenic-contaminated water. The Vreda Fort Crater 13 the Vreda Fort Crater is another fascinating discovery by scientists. It was discovered over 60 years ago. It is situated in the Republic of South Africa. It signifies a unique geological phenomenon that is of international significance. The Vreda Fort Crater Dome, among other things, displays an exceptional level of beauty with a wonderful level of biodiversity with a remarkable plant and animal population. It is believed by many that the Vreda Fort Crater Dome could potentially be a tourist attraction because of its scenic beauty. It has led scientists 
to now believe that impact cratering is a fundamental geological process that affects especially the inner planets of the solar system and their moons. It is believed by astrophysicists that these scars were probably caused by the impacts of meteorites, comets and asteroids from outer space. Although there were not many impact craters found on the surface of the Earth, currently over 160 of these craters have been discovered in our world today. The three largest of all of the craters are the Sudbury Crater, which is about 200 kilometers and is located in Canada, the Chicxulub, which is roughly the same size and is located in Mexico, and finally the Vredefort, which is approximately 400 kilometers and is located in South Africa. Evidently, to scientists, geophysicists and astrophysicists, the Vredefort Dome is one of the few craters on Earth. It also represents the world's largest and the world's oldest impact crater. It also is the best recognizable, the easiest and accessible structure of this kind. It still displays most of the features typical of impact structures. It is believed that the Vredefort impact event happened near the end of the Great Accretion period of the planets of the solar system. This was thought to be the period planets were being built from the accretion of dust and rubble and ice revolving around the Sun. It is further believed that the coming together of this entailed material caused massive impact that led to the accumulation of a multitude of craters that were still visible on the surface of the planets situated closer to the Sun that were not covered by water or frozen gases. The Vreda Fort Crater has now officially been recognized by the World Body of Cultural Heritage. Plans have been put in place to make it a tourist attraction for people because of the beautiful surrounding environment. The Chicxulub Crater The Chicxulub Crater was an impact crater that was buried underneath the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. It has a center that is located offshore close to the surrounding communities of Chicxulub Puerto and Chicxulub Pueblo, after which the crater is named. This crater was formed after a large asteroid close to 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles in diameter struck the Earth. Coincidentally, the date of impact somehow coincides precisely with the Cretaceous Paleogene boundary, commonly known as the KPG boundary. This is believed to have occurred more than 66 million years ago. It is generally believed in the scientific community that worldwide climate disruption from the event was the cause of the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event which led to the mass extinction of 75% of plant and animal species on Earth, including all non-avian dinosaurs. The size of the crater is estimated to be around 150 kilometers in diameter, with the crater also being about 20 kilometers in depth. The crater is considered the second largest confirmed impact structure on Earth, and the only one whose peak ring is intact and directly accessible for scientific research. The crater was discovered by Antonio Camargo and Glenn Penfield, who were both geophysicists. They were in search of petroleum around the Yucatan Peninsula in the late 1970s. Penfield was initially unable to obtain evidence that the geological feature was a crater and gave up his search. Later, through contact with Alan Hildebrand in 1990, Penfield obtained samples that suggested it was an impact feature. Evidence for the impact origin of the crater includes shot quartz, a gravity anomaly, and tectites in surrounding areas. In the year 2016, there was a scientific project that involved drilling deep into the peak ring of the impact crater, hundreds of meters below the current seafloor, to obtain rock core samples from the impact itself. The discoveries from this project were widely seen as confirming current theories related to both the crater impact and its effects. There were some studies in the year 2020 which concluded that the Chicxulub crater was formed by an inclined 45 to 60 degree angle to horizontal impact from the northeast. It is believed that the impact of the crater striking the Earth would have caused a mega tsunami that would be over 100 meters that would have reached what is now Texas and Florida. Researchers working on the crater believed that the impact of the crater collision on the Earth triggered a seismic event equivalent to a magnitude 12 earthquake at the impact site, generating shockwaves. The shockwaves generated probably contributed to the Deccan Traps flood basalt eruption, which was estimated to have occurred around the same time. There was also consequent emission of dust and particles that covered the entire surface of the Earth for many years. This affected plants as they could not get sunlight 
for photosynthesis. This probably helped to shape the Earth's climate. It has also been officially recognized by the International Cultural Heritage Body. But what do you make of these meteorite events? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.